Welcome to Aurora's Little Lab, where curiosity meets discovery. Whether you're here for fun, experiments, fascinating facts, hands-on science, you're in the right place. Let's explore. Growing Crystals, the slowest drama ever. Welcome, science fans. Today, we're growing crystals because science is just nature's way of showing off. Now, you may be wondering, how do I grow my own sparkly science magic? Easy. Just dissolve a bunch of stuff in hot water and then wait and wait some more. And then wait even longer, like watching paint dry, but nerdier. But don't worry. While these tiny geometric wonders are forming, I'll walk you through the science of why this is happening. Step 1. The Science of Saturation aka how to make water give up. First, we take some hot water. Why hot? Because hot water is like a really supportive friend. It holds on to way more dissolved stuff than cold water. Then we dump in our chemical of choice. Epsom salt for quick spiky crystals. Borax for slow chunky fancy looking crystals. We stir, we stir some more. We stir until the water is so full of dissolved stuff that it can't hold even one more single molecule. Congratulations, you have just created a saturated solution, aka water that has officially given up. Step 2. The crystals awaken. Now we let the solution cool. This is where things get exciting. Okay, exciting is a strong word. It's like calling a snail race thrilling. As the water cools, it starts dropping all the extra stuff it was holding on to, like a tired parent saying, I can't carry all this anymore. The extra molecules have no choice but to cling together in a nice organized pattern, like a bunch of overachievers forming a study group. And just like that, crystals are born. Step three, growth spurts and rivalries. Now different crystals grow at different speeds. Epsom salt is the sprinter. It forms fast and dramatic spiky shapes. Meanwhile, borax takes its sweet time growing big and chunky, like it's sculpting itself into a masterpiece. If these two crystal types were in high school, Epsom salt would be the kid who grows a full beard at age 13, while borax is the one who doesn't hit a growth spurt until college. But no matter how they grow, the process is the same. Molecules finding their places, stacking neatly, like tiny Lego towers made by the universe. And now they're really growing. Look at them go from invisible specks to beautiful solid structures. This is nature at its finest. Also, this is the only time in life where doing absolutely nothing results in something amazing. Step four, the grand finale, when science looks like magic. After hours or sometimes days of patient waiting, your jar of boring liquid transforms into a dazzling crystalline wonder. Sparkly, geometric, and possibly resembling a weird alien landscape. And the best part? You can totally pretend this took mad skills. Just casually say, oh yeah, I grew these myself. And watch people look at you like you're a wizard. And there you have it, crystals, science way of reminding us that beautiful things take time. Now go forth, fellow scientists, and grow your own tiny mineral kingdom. Just, uh, don't eat them. Trust me. Thanks for joining us on this experiment. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll never miss a new discovery. For more science fun, check out these videos next. See you in the lab.